Hi and welcome to the video. What have I been doing this week? Well, I've marked out the spa webs. I've uh, got those all cut out and uh, ready to go. Uh, slight uh, differences which you'll see in the video uh, and well we'll see how bits go on that marked out some blocks uh, but I didn't get as far as I like to have got part of the reason well uh, I've been flying you've seen the video hopefully uh, on Saturday for the flying release as normal uh, weather wasn't perfect but got to make the use of what we can when we can at this time of year and uh, well the sanding machine had a slight problem with the motor on that so I haven't been able to finish off all the geodetic for the wing ribs in point of fact I haven't been able to finish off any of the geodetic for the wing ribs so that's ready to go and the third thing that's sort of holding me up a bit of course is uh, still waiting for glue but I've still got lots of little bits and pieces to muck around with in the meantime so let's have a look and see what I've been up to come on then hi and welcome to the channel in these videos I show my build of a Fisher Youngster biplane kit and it's not meant to be in structural, but it's meant for you to have a bit of entertainment seeing how I go about building this aircraft and hopefully get a few hints and tips that might help you out to build your own aircraft. Let's face it, if I can do it, you can do it. So here I am marking out the upper wing spar web. Drawn a little line here, effectively half the uh, the rib width out i've joined the two spar webs here with masking tape on the far side from here i've measured out 48 inches which puts me on the 96 inch mark here drawn the vertical line from the bottom here i've marked up two and three eighths of an inch to there plus the half inch which is the same as the W13 I think it is which makes up the uh, tip bow and then drawn that line so this is going to be waste here from this line here I've marked 48 inches to there now the 96 and that 48 will be the outside edge of uh, the ribs but this one here, you'd expect the rib to be sort of sitting there, which would make the wing that little bit longer. Or I can put the rib to there, which would make the wing just that, uh, you know, the first rib spacing that little bit shorter. It doesn't quite equate. So I'm going to go to, that's going to be the outside. I'm going to increase the wingspan of the aircraft by a whole quarter of an inch. Hey ho, there we go. How about that? There, that will be cut with a craft knife and the excess will be kept because that will be really handy for other little bits on the spar. So here are the uh, two upper wing main spar webs made up out of the uh, YW5 ply. They're cut to size so there are the bits uh, going down for the uh, wing tip bows going at this end all marked off you can sort of see here I've uh, put the allowance on for the rib so that's how much the top wing each top wing is going to be extended by I'll do the same for the lower wing and these have been cut here uh, so this angle is uh, 89 degrees for the dihedral here are all four spar webs and marked up down the bottom end here so the uh, lower webs have been cut with an angle of 87 degrees uh, to allow for the dihedral so I'm just uh, cutting the blocks for the uh, wing root mounting blocks I'll show you where they go in a moment so 
uh, five inches long. So here are the blocks for the root uh, aluminium mounting straps made out of the YW7. I've made up these uh, ones, diagonal ones, which are for the interplane struts for the top spar, which would go into this section here. Uh, I've marked up the spar with the various uh, stations. So that's where that diagonal block goes. All the vertical sections all the way along. Because I uh, added the thickness of the rib to the end here, um, the actual spar caps are, believe it or not, a quarter inch short for the thickness of the vertical. Uh, so I'm going to put the vertical just straight up and down. Go, across the, the two caps rather than between the two caps for the end here at the tip and that cures that little problem. Uh, I'm not gluing these together yet because I haven't got the T88. Uh, I have been asked a question by a couple of people, well, why don't you use uh, other glues? Well there are other glues I could use uh, the West Systems aircraft grade Poxies which are easily obtainable in the UK, but the kit is based around using uh, T88, that's what the manufacturer recommends, and that's also what I've paid for to come with the kit. So uh, I'm going to wait. I've got plenty of prep stuff to do, working through things like rounding off the ends of pivots, uh, the pins for the uh, aileron mounts, and stuff like that and doing the aluminium straps uh, well we're going to round the, the corners off on the ones which have been supplied and getting everything sort of prepped up ready to go so it's not wasted time uh, when I do get started with the gluing it'll go really quick anyway catch you in the next episode bye now thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.